dysfunctional vet. Now if you notice, this piece right here moves, if you saw that, this piece moves the gears from one, from one to the other. The day has come to press these bearings out. Boy, that baby was tight. I may need to remove this other one in order to get this one out. Looks like that's what I'm going to have to do. Wow, that's not even tight in there. All right, let's see if we can loosen this one and get it out. Here we go. It's tight, but it is coming out. Oops. This piece fits together, and I just dropped that other one in there. Got a fish head out. All right, here's the yoke that fits between those. The next thing to do is to press these bearings out. I'm going to start with the bottom one, which is right here, this, this piece. Um, I'm going to start with that one, and once I have that one out, then I will press this top one out, and then I'll put it back together, the big one first and then the small one. I'm hoping I don't lose this cert clip right here. If you're going to do this, make Make sure you have safety glasses on. Got that out. Now I'm going to see if I can just press that out real simple. And I'm going to try to press it towards the back on the, using the hydraulic press. How these gears fit is very important. So for the bottom one, for the bottom one, the big gear is to the top. The bottom one here, or it would actually technically be the top, so a top, it's the little gear up there, and the big gear at the other end. Very important to get them right. The spindle and is noted with the SP spindle and this right here is gears that way I get everything in the right position when I get ready to put it all back together I only saw one video on removing bearings or taking this piece apart and unfortunately there was a lot of stuff he did that he did not explain and in this case, what I'm doing, since this had a cert clip on it, I'm trying to push this bearing to the back side. It has some, well, that was easy enough. Let's see if I can get this gear off and these pins. Oh! Okay, that came right out. As you can see, this press bearing is still in place, which is good. This is my, oh, I forget what you call that. It's not square stock, but it fits in. It does the same thing. So my gear is out. Now we have to do this with the big one, but to do that, I'm going to have to change a few things around. We'll come back in just a few moments and check that out.
Boy, that sucker's tough. All right. The bearing is out. So now, let's disconnect this. By the way, this is a six ton hydraulic press. It's precariously balanced. I had to hang on to it so it wouldn't fall on me when I was doing this. Now, it would appear that the large bearing is going to have to be pressed out as well. So let's raise this all the way up. Uh, the, the gear itself is going to have to be pressed. So let's raise this up. Let's raise this up so we can press the bearing out. As you can see, the large gear is what's holding everything in. So now it's time to try to break that out. Try not to smash my fingers as I'm pushing this thing out. I'm going to have to reposition my blocks, pressing the bearing out. Bearing is out. Bring this up. Now, see if we can remove this shaft, yes and no. All right, here's my keyway right here. Here's my here's my keyway. Here's the bearing. This has to be all pressed back in, and it has a spacer already preset so that the metal the metal one, the large one will fit. So let's go get our pieces and let's reverse the process, put it all together while it's still fresh on my brain.